Neetha Verma, and today I wanted to share some of the exciting fall trends that we've been seeing in design, both in modern day design and in the antiques world. Every season there's definitely certain things that really hit the scene, become very trendy, and sometimes make their mark on the design world and stick around for a long time. So today I wanted to share with you a sneak peek at all of the items that are trending for this fall and give you a behind the scenes look at the things that you're going to be seeing throughout home decor, in color, in texture, and objects, and really show you what kind of pieces are coming through home decor right now. One of the things that we've really been seeing lately is the big juxtaposition of modern with antique. For the last decade, especially in the southern states, we've seen a very heavy French country influence in our design and even French neoclassical. But lately, we have really been seeing the mixture of modern with really strong period pieces. And more than ever, this has really become very integrated and more of a common way of designing, which may be something you love or you don't love, but definitely something you should open your eyes to see and experience and see what you think about it. Now just behind me I'm going to show you a painting where you can see how people might mix, how designers might mix something that's very period with something very modern. So something that would be a really striking design combination would be a painting such as this really beautiful abstract behind me paired with this very beautiful antique cornice. This is a very period cornice piece, very lovely, very high French, lots of details, lots of carvings, and the contrast of this really gorgeous antique cornice along with the modern art is what really would make both of these pieces shine in a space. Here's another great example of how you can see really mixing high style, high period pieces to create a stunning experience. Here you can see this very beautiful modern art paired with these very classic French style sconces. And then just above me, a very mid-century modern chandelier. Again, this is very strong. I think this is the strongest we've seen the mixing and blending of styles in a really long time. And I encourage you to open your eyes to this experience and see what you think about it. Is this something you could live with? Something you could love? Or definitely something you'd like to leave behind? Another way we're seeing the blending of old and new is with the mixture of old shapes with new fabrics. Just right behind me you can see this very beautiful Louis the 15th, 16th inspired style bergere which has a very traditional shape but there's a lot of really fun modern twists on it. First of all, it's finished in this gorgeous jet black that has this really beautiful sheen, something that just really gives it a crisp and a definite pop fresh freshness to it. And here on the back you can see this very very beautiful textured chevron fabric. It is so gorgeous and it really brings a lot of modern day glamour and high style into this very classic traditional antique style of chair. And just to soften it a little bit, we brought back one of these beautiful pillows that has all these gorgeous colors I talked to you about earlier this year in January when I was telling you you're going to be seeing a lot of blacks and a lot of pewters in this year's trends. It's definitely still going strong. And here you can see how you can really get a very classic look and tie it into some of the modern, more geometric, fresher shapes, lighter, brighter, different new looks that newer pieces, newer styles, and newer shapes can offer. Another big trend this year is the color green. For this fall, we are seeing a lot of very, very beautiful, deep, rich greens coming onto the color scene. I'm seeing them in accessories, in tall lamps, in lighting, in fabrics, and artwork. This, this is a very strong color and a beautiful color. Green is a very livable color. There's so much green in nature. It's a color that we naturally accept and feel very comfortable in, which is often why people use green in hospitals, doctor's offices, waiting rooms, and places where people really want or should try to feel comfortable. So I'm very excited about a lot of these green accents that are coming in because this color palette is very easy to work with so many different color palettes. 
grays, blues, yellows, reds, creams, beiges, navy blue. There are so many different colors that you can tie these gorgeous deep green accents back into and it really gives you that gorgeous emphasis, that gorgeous pop that can bring your design to life and add a lot of sophistication to you. Whether you paint an entire room this color, your door this color, bring accents in, or bring in the artwork that has these beautiful greens, this green can really take your design to that next level and bring in a lot of elegance, a lot of richness, and a lot of color without feeling too overwhelmed with color. Another really big trend this season, and something that we've really seen a lot of growth towards, is the influence of cherubs, religious figures, Santos figures, and many similar objects in design. We have started bringing in a lot more pieces like this, and we've seen a lot more people want these kinds of pieces in their homes. And this has been a trend that's really developed over the past two years, and it's coming on strong right now. I'm not quite sure what that says about the times. Maybe some of us are looking for a little bit more spirituality or guardianship or or a feeling of well-being in our home, but this is definitely something that's really taken a very strong design dominance or design presence in decorating and in the objects that we put in our home. You can find these cherubs in all sorts of motifs. They're in pottery, they're in ceramics, they are in trumeaux, antique trumeaux. Um, they're their own pieces in and of themselves. They are statues, they are garden statues. They have really come on in a large variety of shapes and sizes and forms. And they've been really received well by people. People are actively seeking out these kinds of pieces and a trend for this has really developed over the last few months here at Village Antiques and as well on the design scene. We've also seen people really gravitating a lot more towards different styles of religious figures as well as the idea of a Santos in their home. I hope you've enjoyed a sneak peek into this fall's trends. Like any year's trends, there's definitely a feeling of love it or leave it and you have to decide if you love the trends and if you want to include them in your home. So my little bit of design advice to you is interior decorating trends are a lot like fashion trends. They come and go and there's always a few classics in between and the fun part about participating in trends is knowing how to include them in your home. If you love some of the trends, they really speak to you, they've moved you, you should definitely go ahead and put those sorts of things in your home. Those are the sorts of things that will resonate with you year after year after year. And if you don't love them, just pass on them and wait for the next trend. Every season there's new trends, new textures, new objects that inspire us, new styles of old artwork, new styles of new artwork, new combinations of amazing fabric with vintage frames and chairs and sofas, settees, daybeds, and really extraordinary things that just keep coming back. When I first started here at Village Antiques, Amois were really going out of style. Everybody was into these mega, mega TVs that were 81 inches and 100 inches and sizes that I can't even imagine. And that was just two years ago. And so Amois fell out of trend. This was a very classic design staple that had been around for centuries. Well, in that very short time, in that very short amount of time, we have gone from watching TV on these mega, mega monstrosities or mega, mega televisions to our iPads and have a more individualized experience watching on Netflix or Apple TV or even through the different TV networks that we can now watch on our iPads. So guess what's come back in trend? Amos. We can barely keep them in stock. Nowadays, people love the value of them again. They want to try and tuck their TVs back into them or use them as the storage that Amos really served for us. Yes, we were able to put a TV in, but all that amazing storage was really the beauty of what an Amos could bring to a room. So those are back in trend. So as you can see, all sorts of things go in and out of trend. And personally, I love Amos. So I'm glad I didn't toss them out when they were not on trend anymore. I hope you enjoyed this blog on the latest fall trends. Be sure to look out for another blog I'm working on on holiday trends and I'll be sure to share that with you soon. Thanks so much and I look forward to seeing you around the shop soon.
So take a look at these beautiful lanterns behind me. There's a pair of these crystal chandelier lantern type fixtures and they are exquisite. I love fixtures like these. 